Hey everybody, welcome back to Chin Fat. And this is going to be the final episode in this series on how to edit a project, sound mix it, color grade it. In this episode, we are showing you how to export your project out for a final movie here. So a couple things to consider is, first of all, if you're going to be mastering to a, uh, a file where you have a nice high quality file that you can use to transcode to other codecs for other reasons, for like if you're submitting it to a film festival and they want a specific codec, if you're uploading it to YouTube, make sure you how to do a very high quality 10-bit color export here. And, and I am using the, the 4K footage though, but if you're using your original footage here and your high quality footage, you'll want to make sure that you export out a high quality master. And then you can use that one to encode to other ones. But we can all do that from Premiere as well. So let, let, let's show that. I'm going to go to my uh, my baby monitor edit here that I've got. And I'm going to, and, and this one, once again, I said this is my original 4096 by 2048 rather than the, this is 4K footage rather than 2K footage that you guys have access to with the, with the proxies that is in the exercise files. But, uh, but it's good to practice here. I'm going to click on my, and still that, that one, a 2K version is going to be a very good quality that you can, once again, if you're using for your resume or reel, your editing reel, you can totally use that. So I'm going to click on the baby monitor edit here, make sure I got this selected. We're going to hit the uh, command M, or it would be control M as in media, then it will bring open this window here. Another way to get there is just go up to your tabs up here and click on export, and that takes you to the same window. Just make sure you have your timeline selected because if you have your source monitor selected, it will export a clip from a source monitor or from your project window, not your timeline. So I want my timeline exported. So I'm going to go to export or command M. And uh, up here, the things that we're going to do is I'm going to change this to, we'll call this hush little baby. I want this to be my 4K master file. So this will be my, my highest quality one that we're going to keep a hold of. And I'm going to show you some options here. We're going to go to my document. I'm going to click on this uh, blue line right here and choose a location. And under my Hush Little Baby folder, I can call this. Uh, I've already got an export folder. Just to make a new folder, I'm going to do a new folder and call this Final Exports or something like that. Just usually I, I name my folder Exports, and that's where I find everything. But I'll call this Final Exports just so I can create a new folder. Because I've already got them exported right there. So Final Exports, we'll call it. And I'm going to save it into that folder. And within my production folder, I hit Save. And that's the location, that's the file name. And I'm gonna go down here and we're gonna choose a master level codec here. The format is going to be QuickTime. QuickTime, this will do this on both PC and Mac. You can go to QuickTime. And then we're going to change this to ProRes 422. 422 is kind of the base layer. If, you go, if you're using raw media, you probably wanna go ProRes 422 HQ to retain a lot of that color depth. But I'm going to select this right here. And I'm just gonna choose, well, first of all, if this is not showing uh, this under the video codec here, when you pull this down right here, or the video codec, the, these are all the presets that it has under the QuickTime window right here. It has to be under the video tab. Arrow this down. We're gonna choose a video codec, and we're gonna call it. We're gonna we'll just say this is uh, using 10-bit color on a camera that shoots pro, pro, that shoots in 422. We want to retain that color. If you're shooting in RAW, I would to export it out as ProRes 422 HQ or ProRes 4444, which is super high quality. These will be very large files. So I'm just going to do ProRes 422. In the very least, that's going to look very nice. And I don't want the frame size to be 3840 by 2160. I want to match my resolution here. So we can pull this down and choose 4096. If you check mark this, it'll just match the resolution that your timeline is set in. So if, it, if it's in 2K, it'll match 2K. If it's in 4K, it will match 4K. So I've got 4K. So you check mark that and it matches the, uh, the, the frame size. So uh, that's really all you have to do. And then when I'm done, I can hit export and let my movie export. I'm gonna let that go and then I'll come back in a minute and I will show you the results and then we'll show you how to do more of a compressed file if you're delivering it to a format such as YouTube or Vimeo or something else. Okay, that's done exporting. Let's go to my, I'm gonna to go to my folder here and go to my exports folder or final exports and here's my movie right here. If you try to open this up in something like Windows Media Player or something like that, there's a lot of players that will not understand what ProRes is. QuickTime does. If you have QuickTime, QuickTime does. Uh, that's only available on Mac. I like to use VLC. VLC is a free software you can get off of video. It's called VideoLAN. This is the website here, videolan.org. You can uh, download VLC for PC or Mac. Just click on the arrow there and choose which version if you're on one of the new Macs with the Apple Silicon or rather than the Intel processor. Uh, depending on how old your laptop is or Windows 64 bit, you can download these and install them onto your system. And then once they are done, you can right click on your file. Uh, VLC will read pretty much everything. You right click on it and say open with VLC. It'll open in VLC. And here we go. Here's the player. If you hit on a Mac, it's Command F. On a PC, I think it's just F and VLC. I can't remember. 
but on a Mac it's Command F. And then you'll want to just play through your clip and just make sure that the whole thing is there and make, and make sure that the whole thing is there and that the whole thing works. Sorry, I turned off the audio on here, but you want to make sure your audio is there. You want to make sure it all plays back and it all looks good. And then moving down here, and one thing I've noticed here, this is not normal. This is just because I've been doing some exports here. My audio is not turned on right here. So you want to turn your audio on and make sure it exports out the audio as well. And let's see if anything else, I don't have captions, effects, I didn't really do any effects, so that's good. But that is one thing I just noticed is that my audio was not on, so I'd make sure to check mark. By default, yours should be on, but but I, I was doing some exports where I was doing some effect work where I was not add, keeping, adding audio to my QuickTime files. And now I'm going to export that out. So you'll open it up in VLC, you'll play through it. Just I would play through the whole thing, just make sure everything is there and everything works. Got my audio, got my video, and everything's working, and just make sure that it all works. I would play through the whole darn thing and make sure that everything works and that the whole thing is there. Because one thing that can happen is when you're in Premiere Pro, if you're zoomed up on your timeline, if you let's say if you have an in point and an out point, I'm gonna zoom up on my timeline as well. And you, and you can't see that there. Let's zoom up to where you can't see it. If you have an endpoint and outpoint on your timeline, when you export, it'll want to default to that. Look at this, when I do export, it'll say source in and out right there rather than export out the entire clip, which I don't want to do. Because it would just export that portion of the clip right there. So uh, so what you want to do while you're in Premiere is hit the slash above the return key. And that will show your entire uh, timeline uh, in the window here. If it zooms out like this, if it looks like that when you hit the slash, you probably have some floater clip that's down that your timeline like that. And, that, and then it will export this entire thing out, plus all this here, all that black, and then your, whatever video clip you have at the end there. So I always like to hit the slash key to make sure that's my entire timeline. Nothing else is on there. And then you can right click up here and say clear in and out if you have an in and out point. And now it's ready to export. So let's show how to export it up for certain different venues here. Like if you're going to, let's say you're going to YouTube. So I'll hit uh, M in my timeline, Command M or Control M. And I'm going to change my name here to... Uh, let's go to the final exports. I'll click on this and change it just to bring up the name here to add that name. And we'll call this 4K YouTube like that. And I'm going to save and then I will go down to QuickTime. I'm going to change this to H.264, which is the code, good codec for YouTube. And we're going to go to, we're going to make this a 4K version. So I'm going to, so I'm going to go down here. I'm going to match source to make sure it is 4096 by 2048 because I don't want to do a smaller version of this. And there it is. So I've also one other thing you can do. Sorry, this is not specifically for YouTube. We can go up to preset and we can go down and find a YouTube preset. If it doesn't show it, you scroll down and hit more presets. And now you can type in YouTube and it will bring up these options. There's my 4K right there. I'm going to click on it, select that and hit OK. But it does 3840 by 2160, which is a little smaller resolution than my aspect ratio. So I'm going to say match source. So it's using the YouTube H.264 codec. I'm going to hit match my resolution. So now I'm set. And now I can hit export and export out that. And once that's done, I'm going to come back and show you how to do a smaller resolution one. Say you want to submit it just for somebody to view and you don't want to have to have them download a big, huge 4K file. Uh, this is great for YouTube, but if you want to send one to somebody like on Google Drive or OneDrive or something like that or some cloud service so people can just watch it and watch a, watch a little screener of it, uh, we'll show you how to do like a, a 2048 by 1080, which is close to 1920 by 1080, but a true, uh, a true 2K version of that. So let this finish, come back, and I'll show you that, and then we're, we'll be finished. Okay, that has finished exporting out our YouTube our, our YouTube 4K version. Let's go and do one more version, which is going to be kind of a screener, a 2K screener for sending to like uh, uh, friends, coworkers, or anybody else. I don't know, just something that's kind of smaller uh, to to watch. Let's go Command M. Like if you're finished with your movie and you don't want anybody to see it, just maybe a couple people so they can give some a critique on it. You could just upload this to to like I said, Google Drive or somewhere uh, and send them a link. So I'm gonna click on my final exports. I'm gonna click on this one to change the name and we'll call this a 2K screener. We'll call this a screener for, and sometimes you'll have to do this for like a film festival if you're submitting it to a film festival. So I'm going to save it uh, here. They usually want like a 1080 screener. So we're gonna save that. I'm gonna still use my YouTube uh, codec. It's a good quality version here. I'm gonna go to more presets. And I'm going to say YouTube, but I'm going to choose a 1920 by 1080, and then we'll change our aspect ratio to the t to the 2K. This is close to 2K, but not quite. So I'm going to select that, hit OK. 1920 by 1080, we're going to, uh, but we're going to change this. I'm going to do a custom one here. I'm going to go down and do custom, and my resolution. But you make sure this is unlocked so it doesn't change the proportions. I'm going to call this 
2048. Let, let's show you actually what's happening here. Let me hit escape. So the 1920 by 1080 here. Look at what look at how my footage looks. It's a different aspect ratio, but it has letterboxed into the 1920 by 1080 aspect ratio. So I don't want to do that. I want to go custom. I'm going to change this. I'm going to make sure it's unlocked and change the horizontal or the width of the pixels to 2048. Click outside. And now that matches my resolution right there. And I don't have any letterbox on it. It's just sending out the video signal and that's it. So now I'm going to change my name here. We're going to call this. Oh, I already did that, but let's do it again. I have to change it. Click on there. Say hush little baby. Uh, 2K, we'll call it 2K screener. 2K screener. You will save, and I'm going to export that out. And then once again, once you're done with this, you'll want to look at your files. You want to look at your exported files. Just open them up, play them back, make sure everything works, and that's it. Then you can deliver them. So that's it for this uh, uh, series. I appreciate you watching. There's been kind of a, a long, a long series showing you how to edit, how to sound mix, how to color grade, how to do titles, and so on, and and then export out your videos and uh, deliver them. So I appreciate you guys watching. And if you have any questions or comments, uh, please let me know. And thanks for watching, Chin Fat. Thank you, honey.